This evening, the community mourned the life of Memo Garcia, the 23rd victim of the August 3rd mass shooting, whose funeral services were today. And you may remember, Garcia was hospitalized for nearly nine months after he was shot outside of the Sierra Vista Walmart. Garcia was fundraising for his daughter's youth soccer team. KTSM 9 News reporter Selena Quintana was there as the community said its last goodbyes. It was here where family, friends, and people from around the community gathered together to pay their respects, also sharing what they remember from Memo Garcia. As they wore face masks, visitors waited in line in the rain to say goodbye. We're having a social distance, we're having to wear masks, but it was important for us to show that support to his family and then for him too, so that he can see that he was very loved and his family knew that as well. Many described Memo as a fighter. We were all hoping that in a couple of years from now we were going to look back at this with him. It, it's tough, you know, that it's, it ended this way, but, you know, he was a warrior, as Jessica's mentioned several times, and he won many battles. The large gathering showed how important he was to the community. Memo was the epitome of El Paso Strong because, you know, out of everyone, he fought the longest and the hardest, and he really just kind of had so many people rail rallying around him and his family. You know, we all wanted him to get through. Others explain how important the El Paso family is during hard times. We are one family. We're a melting pot. All colors and races and, and it doesn't matter who we are. This is our city. We become strong. This is family. And this is our town and nothing can destroy it. Nothing. Others who I spoke with at the memorial for Memo tell me he was nothing but a good guy and will never be forgotten. Reporting in East El Paso, Selena Quintana, KTSM 9 News. All right, Selena, thank you very much.